very knowledgeable. He was telling me, well, it was started as a military thing. Because if you're marching and you're trying to do this, you're going to have lots of stops and it's going to be very exhausting. So somebody had the idea, you stick a bag on it, you've got an air reservoir, you can take a breath and still the air will travel through the reeds. So that was the very first thing. And this is, we're talking 5,000 years ago, you know. Right. So this is, this is like cutting edge modern technology in comparison. So we've got a chanter here with a double reed, like an oval. And in the drones, we have something that's a little bit more similar to a clarinet reed, in that it's a single reed. So rather than having two blades that vibrate together when the air passes over, it's one reed that vibrates against the body, and that creates the sound. creates one tone. So every drone, everything has a reed? Everything has a reed. So what I'm doing when I play the pipes is playing four reeds at the same time. Which obviously you can't do without a bag. You know, if you try to stick a, an oboe and three clarinets in your mouth, you're not going to manage that anyway. <laughs> but even if you could, there's no way you're going to be able to blow it for any length of time. So the the, um, the addition of the bag was purely practical. It's like, now, well, now we can play it continuously. We can take a breath. The air still flows, and now we can march along and do our thing. So even all the way back then, it was very much a military thing. And then the bagpipes in Scotland arrived with the Scotty tribe. And again, history is a bit sketchy, but they arrived in Scotland in the fifth century sometime from Ireland directly. Uh, the Picts were already there. Feel free to come closer if you like. This is the entire audience, so we are doing it. It's very, very intimate. It's not so much a master class as a workshop, I think, or a show and tell, maybe. I'll do this. <laughs> uh, what was it? Yeah, so they arrived in the fifth century, and at that time in Ireland, there was, uh, they're known now as, sometimes as uh, Brian Boru pipes or Irish war pipes. Uh, named after the King of Ireland at the time. It's the only King of Ireland I've ever heard of. It's not so much a kingdom there. You know, it was lots of uh, tribes um, that at some point came together. Presumably to fight against the Romans originally, but uh, again, I don't know so much of that history. So when they arrived from Scotland um, with the Scots, the, the Irish war pipes had one drone. Um, a very big chatter, so Modern chanter is quite narrow. The, the, the war pipes had a big bell, so the sound would have been a little bit more nasal, actually. I'll go into that, actually. The, um, the, the chanter itself is not cylindrical, it's conical. So compared to a clarinet that's got a very flat sound, this has got a very nasal sound. You've already heard it, but I'll do this for you. On its own, it's quite harsh. That's another reason for the drones. You've got, it's essentially an internal harmony. The drones play only one note. So I've got three drones. Um, these two play exactly the same note, and this one plays the same note an octave below. So you've essentially got one note over an octave that just holds a harmony um, when played against each note. So you've got, rather than chords, you've got intervals. You've got an octave, or you've got a six or a seventh, whatever. So you've got your internal harmony that works without the need for any kind of other instruments with any other backing. Can Question? You, can you change the drones? No, yeah. You, yes, so they're tunable. So when I slide this up or down, I'm changing the note. If I want to make it sharper to make the pitch higher, I make the whole thing short. But you're changing the tuning and not necessarily a different Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's, it's not like a, a digital thing where I, I go up and it goes up a note, and it goes up and it goes up a note. It's, it's a slight, yeah. very much a slight. Notes. Yeah, so like if you, if you yeah. imagine a trombone. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a gradual slight. So I, I'll have one note that I use as a reference. Now in written music, we refer to it as A which in concert pitch is not actually A, it's B flat. And just to confuse matters, <laughs> competition is such that if a pipe band plays at one pitch, then the next band plays slightly sharper, 
it's kind of an uplifting sound and they tend to get marked so from the 80s through to now bagpipes have been incrementally sharper and there's no way to know what original uh, tone would have been given the concert pitch didn't exist until the early 20th century it could have been higher it could have been lower it could have been this way in Caithness and it could have been that way in Sutherland I mean there's no recordings from you know the 5th century or the 10th century